Smartphone cameras are becoming so powerful these days and if you take any photos that are shot with any of the budget devices, even the average size would be around 3.5 to 4.5 MBs and that is because they are shot in higher resolution. But you don't actually want that higher resolution photos all the time because most of us just upload it on Facebook, Instagram and the normal like full HD size is good enough. So what I do is I upload these photos on Google Photos in high quality. So I mean I have infinite backup and also at the same time I can uh, free up space on my phone. But then most of us don't use Google Photos or at times while we are on holidays we don't get time to upload these photos of online and then free up some space and if in this kind of scenario you are running out of space don't worry so today i'm going to talk about those five android apps that you can install on your device uh, using which you can compress photos on your device and at the same time regain their quality so friends what are we waiting for let's get started and have a look So let's start with very first app in the list and the name of the app is Photo Compress 2.0. Now what this app does it, it, uh, it takes away that extra details from your photos that you uh, usually miss out on and still give you that uh, finished photo in a lower quality in the same resolution. You, uh, when, I mean whenever you open up the app there is an option using which you can quickly compress all the photos that are there in your gallery or choose from the three different types of compression quality like high, medium and low. Now in our test results we uh, uploaded a photo of around 4, 4.5 MB and the final photo that we got was around 2.9 MB in the same uh, resolution. So yes it's a pretty good app to start the list. The second app in the list is Image Compress. Now what it does it, it just resizes your photo from that uh, big resolution to 700px by default but don't worry you can change that value. Now when we tested the app, a 4 MB photo which was of a resolution around 2096 or something was reduced to 700px in just 200kb and if you are going to upload it on Facebook or Instagram, it's not gonna hurt. The third app in the list is Photo and Picture Resizer and what this app does it, it changes both the quality and the dimension of your photos and it has a good enough rating of 4.5 on the Play Store. Now don't worry, I'll provide you with the links of all these apps in the description of this video. Now talking about the app, what it does it, it allows you to choose the image and the dimension you want to set and then when it's set, you get the reduced image displayed with the percentage reduction and the new dimension. The image that we tested had an original size of 2.9 MB with a dimension of 4656 to 2620 while the resized image was of just 470 KB of 1862 to 1048 resolution. The fourth app in the list is Reduce Photo Size and as the uh, name of the app suggests it reduces your photo size by uh, decreasing the dimension of your photos and it's a pretty simple app to work with and you get a variety of dimensions to choose from right in the app. The app is quite powerful and the image that we tested on this particular app was around 2.73 MB which was reduced to just 200 KB for uh, 800 P, uh, PX of resolution. Now last but not the least, the fifth app that you can try is Image Optimizer. Now beware, when you open up the app all the photos that are in your gallery will be selected by default and if you select the go button all the photos will be resized so make sure that what is selected before you operate this particular app so once you have selected that particular images that you want to resize just tap on optimize now this particular app will not resize your photos but will optimize the overall quality so that the final photos are of the same dimension but of a lesser file size so friends, those are some 5 interesting apps using which you can reclaim some additional space on your Android device. Well, I'm sure you must have loved this video and if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do click on this subscribe button right now in the next 5 seconds I would say. So friends, that's all in this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day.